Okay, uh, we're doing a little test today. I got this idea from Granddad is an old man. You can check out his channel. I'm gonna have a link to the video that I referenced this from. But I've got on one side, I got table salt, which is sodium chloride. And over here, I got Epsom salts, which is magnesium sulfate. Now, he said that the reason why they use Epsom salts is because the table salt won't hold a charge. It won't, for as far as recharging, so I got my meter right here. We're gonna see what we got so far. This should be positive and it should be negative. This should be a, yeah, it's a negative voltage on that already. Whereas this has already got about a quarter of a volt. Now, we're gonna see if we can charge these up. I got my uh, handy 12 volts power supply I use for my electroplating. And we're gonna give it a shot charge the Epsons first because they're supposed to be able to take a charge you don't do it too fast too much because as you can see you're already getting a reaction okay now we'll do this with the table salt you get a lot more reaction with the table salt and if you notice on the positive we're getting some yellow let the let it die down a little bit and you should be able to see a yellow tinge in there and I do believe that's chlorine and that might be why these uh, that sodium chloride does not make a good battery because chlorine is not a metal it's a gas whereas over here when you got your magnesium and your sulfates and stuff they'll actually plate these stainless steel spoons now I use stainless steel spoons and granddad is an old man used stainless steel spoons. He made up a little rig with some magnets on it that stick to them. Well, the laws of physics are a little different over on that side of the pond because I couldn't get magnets to stick to my stainless. He must have like a higher iron stainless or something. But yeah, it'll take quite a bit. Let's go back over here. I just, it's amazing how much that turns yellow like that. That's gotta be chlorine gas. Now let's see what kind of a charge we have. Now on the uh, sodium chloride battery, we have very little of anything. Now on the Epsom salts, they're over one and a half volts. Now I'll do an update to this video and we'll see how well it does after it sits. Now with the Epsom salts batteries, you want to charge them, discharge them, and charge them, and discharge them a few times, it conditions them. And I'm guessing it's like electrolysis. One plate will be a magnesium plate and the other plate will be a sulfate plate. But you won't get over here because chlorine being a gas, I don't think it accumulates on a plate. As you can see, it's actually just sitting around in the water. So that can't be healthy. Either one of these has a lot of uh, chromium and stuff in them because it's electrolysis. So yeah, I wouldn't drink them or stick them in your eye or anything. But well, I guess that's going to be it for now, and I'll do an update later. Thank you.